short and sweet. I create a new scene in the polygon torus. Under the Windows menu I choose the Bifrost Graph Editor and I create a brand new graph. Let me delete the input, we don't need it. And middle mouse drag the torus from the outliner into the Bifrost Editor, middle mouse. I create two so-called logical nodes which will evaporate particles from the torus. I press the tab key and search for simulate particles. The node shows an entry on the left named Influences. So let's search for Influences. Tab key again. Influences, lots of entries. I choose the Attract Repulse Influence node. And I'm almost done. Almost because I need to connect the four nodes properly. First connection, the Torus Mesh output goes into the Geometry input of the Attract Repulse node. The node's output, out influence, goes into influences in the simulate particles node. This node creates particles and I need to connect them to the output so that I can see them. Can I see them? Well, no. Why is that? Because the particle engine needs to not only get the value for the influence, it needs to know which object to create the particles from, the emitter so to say which is the torus. The torus is the source of the particles, so I feed its output into the source's input of the simulation. Now I can see the particles as they fall straight down. Remember, straight down. But where is that influence happening? Well, that's one of the parameters of the Attract Repulse Influence node. The default, which we've just seen falling straight down, is the attraction set to 1. How about minus 10, which is a repulsion? And plus 10? You guessed it. Short. There are lots of in-depth Bifrost Graph tutorials in my channel. Enjoy! <laughs>